February is Career and Technical Education Month. All month, we've been highlighting this in our school zone. Each year, career and technical education programs in the U.S. empower more than 12.5 million students with academic and real-world skills. According to the Department of Education, 77% of all public high school students nationwide complete at least one career and technical education course by the end of their senior year. Many of these students also belong to a career and technical student organization, also known as a CTSO. Today, we're introducing you to another one, FCCLA, or Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. It's one of the largest CTSOs in the country. The organization was founded in 1945 and today has more than 237,000 members. The organization aims to promote growth and leadership through family and consumer sciences education. Let's bring in Amanda Chen, the current national president of FCCLA. Amanda has been involved with the organization for six years and previously served as the state president for New Jersey FCCLA. Amanda, welcome to Maine and Wall. Uh, we know FCCLA was originally founded as the future homemakers of America, but times have changed. Talk to us about today's FCCLA and how you're helping to address important personal work and societal, societal issues uh, through family and consumer sciences education. Yes, first of all, thank you so much, Mr. Wynn, for having me on the show today to share about FCCLA. I mean, it's an honor to be here in in, for CTE Month. Um, so FCCLA stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. We are, are a career and technical student organization for students and family and consumer sciences. So we are becoming college and career ready. And over 237,000 of our members are learning what we have in our FCS classrooms and applying them into real world settings. Whether that is through our competitive event opportunities to national programs, there's ways for all students to become involved and get ready for their futures. And Amanda, it's clear that FCCLA has really evolved in its nearly 80 year history. There's the competitive events, but also the leadership development programs that you mentioned where members can learn skills that really can be transferable to any career pathway they choose. Tell us more about that. Yes, of course. FCCLA has four main career pathways, which are education and training, hospitality and tourism, human services and visual arts and design. But of course, all of the exploratory all the exploration areas that FCCLA members are able to explore can be applied into any career. And so FCCLA members are able to plan and lead um, different initiatives and programming within their chapters and schools. So all of this is not only student led, but we have advisors who are family and consumer sciences teachers guiding our students right along the way um, in order to become ready for their futures. Yeah, we always have to give the advisors a shout out too. Uh, Amanda, I was a national CTSO officer myself, and one of the things that I remembered most about FCCLA was the iconic red blazer. Tell us more about the significance behind the blazer and the pride you feel every time you put it on. Yes, of course. Our red blazers are a symbol of FCCLA, and it symbolizes not only leadership and strength, um, but it's also who we are as an organization. Um, we have bold determination and and getting ready for our futures, and FCCLA members are at the forefront of it. So once you see us in our red blazers, you know something great is happening within our families, schools, and communities. Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre, and Bo Jackson are just a few of FCCLA's most nationally recognized alumni. When you hear that, what goes through your mind, Amanda, knowing that some very accomplished people in American society have been in your shoes as a member? I have to imagine it's a really great connection. Yes, it's absolutely surreal to see those who have been in my shoes ahead of me and knowing um, what we're able to do for future generations. And I know that um, we are able to be the leaders that we want to see as youth leaders and being able to have the opportunity to explore just like they have um, in different areas within family and consumer sciences and career and technical education is just an amazing feeling. As we wrap things up, your term as a national officer ends in a few months. You've had the privilege of serving nearly a quarter million people, which is also to, uh, crazy to say out loud. Uh, what are you going to miss most about the experience? I think I absolutely will be missing the members the most. Um, this has been the best family and community. Um, we are the CTSO with the central focus on family, and I like to think of all of our FCCLA members as our family. 
Uh, so with all the opportunities that I have been presented over the past six to seven years within FCCLA, I'm being able to explore different leadership development opportunities, prepare for our careers, and work, learn to work with others has been such a valuable experience. And I know that all the skills and networking opportunities um, I will take with me for the rest of my life. I'm sure they're going to miss you too. Amanda Chen, FCCLA National President. Amanda, thanks for joining us and best of luck with the rest of your year. Yes, thank you so much. All right, see you soon.